Welcome to our presentation, a proposal to integrate digital collaborative multimodal writing task in a Spanish as a second language syllabus. My name is Maria Camino Bueno Alastoy, and I, uh, I am from the Public University of Navarre in Spain, and my colleague is Maria Victoria Lopez Perez, who is also from the same university, and Idoya Lola has also participated uh, in this study. The motivation for the inclusion of digital collaborative multimodal writing task uh, was to respond to the call for the inclusion of multiliteracies, collaborative work, and multimodality in the language classroom uh, to integrate writing and oral skills, including collaborative digital monomodal and multimodal tasks, and also to increase the students' motivation by adding different modes of expression. The theoretical framework we took elements from the multimodality uh, from the benefits uh, shown by research uh, of collaborative writing. Uh, also, uh, we wanted to increase the students' digital competence. Also, we took into account all the new framework about multiliteracies and digital genres. Now, uh, the first thing is to, to, to state what multiliteracies uh, are. And this is a logical evolution from literacy, from literacy uh, which was uh, only a decoding and encoding skills necessary to read and write, but mainly on paper-based uh, monomodal text. Uh, it evolved uh, to digital literacies uh, with uh, the emergence of uh, digital tools uh, to include uh, the social practices that are fluid, sociocultural, multimodal, and dynamic. And now with multimodality, it has become multiliteracies. I'm going to introduce to you uh, how this study was devised. The main objective uh, is to analyze the inclusion of collaborative digital multimodal tasks as part of language curricula. Our study has three research questions. What are the students' perceptions of digital tasks and their attitudes towards multimodality? What are students' perceptions about the use of technological tools and their attitudes towards technology? And in the third place, uh, what were the teachers' perceptions about the experience? As far as the participants, uh, uh, 37 international students uh, learning Spanish uh, at a level of B1 uh, participated uh, in the study, uh, which was uh, carried out uh, in semesters one and two. Two teachers uh, were involved in the study, two were the teachers uh, of the semesters. Uh, as instruments, um, we started with a proficiency test to figure out the level of Spanish of the students, and then we used uh, um, three different technological tools, Zoom, Google Doc, Google Slides, Google Forms, and uh, the second uh, big instrument was uh, a focus group uh, with uh, different um, um, categories of questions. Here you can see the, the scheme of a student procedure. We started with a pre-test task for the students to get familiar of the real task, and um, then uh, we have two different tasks. Uh, developed in two phases. The difference between the first and the uh, first part of uh, one of the tasks and the second is that in the first um, part, uh, the students uh, wrote uh, or um, prepare a narrative test. And in the second part, they uh, transferred this uh, narrative test into a multimodal test. Um, here you have the more details about uh, the the part of the movie we use in the first part in the first task, which was the uh, first Cuento Pastornac and the second one El Mas Fuerte, uh, both from the movie Cuentos Salvajes. And here you have uh, two screenshots from the two different parts of the task of each task. Um, as a data analysis, uh, well, data analysis came from two sources. Uh, first, uh, from a questionnaires, uh, we uh, collected the students' perceptions, and uh, this questionnaire uh, had uh, eight open-ended questions and 18 four-point legal questions. And the focus group um, uh, got the uh, teachers' perceptions, and uh, it included uh, nine questions. 
Okay, regarding results and regarding the perceptions of the task, for the students, uh, they praised the benefits of collaborative writing uh, because it promoted linguistic learning, because it promoted the exchange and negotiation of ideas, and because it incorporated positive social affective factors. Uh, then, the beliefs and attitudes towards multimodal text creation. Uh, the students uh, first uh, thought that uh, they needed a greater, a greater effort, so they wanted to learn uh, more, as we can see here, with a 79% a of the students mentioned that, and a 63% mentioned that the more they knew, the more they wanted to know. And then we also have that uh, students uh, disagreed with the statement that it was a waste of time, this kind of experiences. They, they said that they enjoy creating this kind of test more than traditional tests. And they also mentioned that they wanted to learn uh, how to create DM tests and effective multimodal presentations of 58% and 64%. And, and then uh, here we see that uh, all this 66% and 63% thought uh, that they were, this kind of tasks were not a waste of time, but they were needed. Uh, the advantages and disadvantages the students mentioned, they mentioned that it promoted interactions, so it also helped develop oral skills, they enriched the text, they increased collaboration, they foster motivation and they boost creativity. On the downside, they mentioned some task design issues, uh, such as uh, instructions and things to do with pairs, uh, technical problems, um, uh, sometimes difficulty in, in reaching a consensus, and also problems with some with partners. Uh, finally, uh, when we asked them whether they thought that mixing different modes was difficult, they thought uh, it was easy, they liked it, and they considered themselves good at that. Then, regarding technology, uh, we they said like 75% mentioned that it was important for their academic development, uh, they, they said they felt confident using all kinds of technology, they knew how to use the applications, and they were good at organizing their thoughts and at using uh, computer programs. Then, these are the resources they use, mainly Google, YouTube, and Internet, and then movies and uh, different websites to find images. Then, very interesting, they use technology mainly, or, or a lot, uh, to uh, solve language problems, but most of them, 78%, use uh, computer resources or so technological tools and dialogues. So that means they were talking at the same time and there was translanguaging, as it is called. And then uh, regarding the online resources used, a 50% said they use translators, and but a 42% uh, mentioned they use dictionaries and only an 8% reference books. Uh, regarding the teachers' uh, thoughts or perceptions about the task, they, saw, they thought they had been easy to integrate and in line with the methodology and the proficiency level. They had facilitated linguistic development and more exposure to authentic language and to multimodal text. And they had been useful to develop both writing and oral skills in a motivating way. They had promoted cross-cultural socialization, living up the class, and provided enrichment of the resources because of the digital tools included. Also, they thought that once they knew the procedure, the second task was smoother and quicker. Teachers also noticed that the students were uh, open, receptive, and showed curiosity, surprised uh, because of the online task being done in class. Um, they noticed that the students with a higher language or technology proficiency led the task and that the students used English as a lingua franca. Problems. They mentioned technical related problems just as the students had done but not uh, related to the task. The absence of one of the partners in, one of the, in any of the parts of the task which forced them to change uh, the partners or the, yes, the, the groups. And then recommendations, they thought the, it, the number of sessions devoted to this task in class should be reduced and they should be done as homework and they add peer, peer feedback could be added. Um, 
many conclusions uh, are drawn from the study. Uh, we regard the collaborative, monomodal, and multimodal digital task. Uh, uh, it has put, uh, have the potential to, to be coherently integrated into the syllables, involved a beneficial pedagogical interventions to increase oral and written practice, developed language skills in Spanish, and social and cross-cultural skills, enrich the students' expression when using different modes, promoting multiliteracies, allow for a type of scaffolding in ways not explored before, uh, promoted the students' construction of knowledge and opportunities to share ideas, supported the students' interest and motivation in learning and using new ICT tools where a successful motivation generated effective factors for learning. Uh, suggestions for improvement uh, to a certain and optimal technical environment to carry out the activity out um three limitations uh, limitations should be mentioned uh first uh, the small number of participants in the study then um related to data collection only two uh, instruments were used and uh, we didn't focus on linguistic uh, proficiency or use of uh, L1. For future research, we could include more data and uh, the task uh, could be replicated but uh, changing the order. And uh, finally, uh, it, it should be worth uh, including digital competence uh, as a variable in the study. Thank you very much for listening to us.